要修建。Hey folks, Jerome Forestwood here. It's 3.57 p.m. on April 30th, 2024 in downtown Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It is 12 degrees outside on a sunny afternoon in the city. In this video, I walk for 1.5 kilometers, starting by the bus stop at West Hastings and Canby, then stroll north on Canby, west on Water, and West Cordova, north on Canada Place, along the promenade, and in my trek on the promenade. To support the channel, click the heart icon to send me a super thanks. For updates, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at JForestwood. And if you enjoy this video, smash that like button, share it, and subscribe. Hey, you folks, Jerome Forrestwood here. Just walking along Canby Street here in the Gastown neighborhood. And we're at the intersection of Canby and West Cordova. Passing EC Rare Books as well as Danny's Inn. And across the street, of course, we got the Canby Hostel and the Canby, which is the local bar and grill below the hostel. Very, very popular bar and grill. And it looks like it's got its outdoor patio. All ready to go. I'm sure they'll put more. Well, they got the tables and chairs out. Now we're just waiting for the people. <laughs> this would be the intersection of West Cordova and Canby Street right here. You can see one of our ironworks buildings on over here. Way taller than the ironworks building in Toronto. <laughs> See, it's rather busy down West Cordova Street too. So it's good when you're in Gaston to check out all the streets, and not just Water Street. We're just waiting for the light to change. <laughs> it is a little longer over here. It's probably about 45 seconds to a minute, and we hit it right as it changed. So <laughs> here we go. Let's go. Head on down Canby Street in, into the heart of the gas town area. Over by the gas town steam clock. There's a whole lot more to gas town than that. So, like I just said, come on down here and check out all the streets in gas town. Check out the Incognito Bar, which is all the way over in uh, on Alexander Street near Alexander and Maine. And like, check out all these areas. Ooh. <laughs> interesting. Very, very interesting. <laughs> Here is the steam clock, and we're at the intersection of You see there's no shortage of people over here <laughs> taking selfies. We'll turn around and give you another shot. You know, one of our local buskers playing on the street too right now. Absolutely amazing busker. There's the steam clock for you. <laughs> We'll keep going here. Steam clock was out for a little bit. It looks like they've repaired it. It's back in order. We'll head up the sunny side of Water Street here in Gasta. Just passing the Hudson House. It's just one of your local tourist shops. <laughs> wow, you get really good echo over here. You can really hear that busker still, or at least I can. Yeah, I'll keep walking here.
Oh, here you have got the gifting things. The gift shop. Sweatshirts, knickknacks, that type of thing. And then Momo Sushi. There's an izakaya around here, too. Could be a goo izakaya. I'm just passing it now. It's a little hidden, so keep your eye out for it. You'll see it. Be a Japanese bar. And then up here, it's the official store for the Vancouver Whitecaps. It's like this is uh, this season's gear. You can see me there too. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, we'll keep walking here on Water Street. And we've turned off Water Street now and we're on West Cordova. This water blends into West Cordova over here at the Steamworks Brewery, Pub and Restaurant. And they do brew beer over here. And they have a beer warehouse for the larger commercial production of their beers. Or brews as some people would call it. And you can see over there in the distance you got a cruise ship in. Now I say let's go walk the cruise ship by. <laughs> so we'll loop down the quiet side of Canada Place and then around the busy side after that. <laughs> Passing the Rouge wet bar, a kitchen at wet bar, right here at Waterfront Station. And this is our waterfront station here for Vancouver. If you've been to New York with Union Station or Toronto with Union Station, this is the same equivalent. And we call it Waterfront Station because we're down here by the waterfront. <laughs> One of our local human sculptures. <laughs> Drop a little bit of money and they do some funky things. <laughs> Let's keep walking here. Busy, busy street today. Busy by Vancouver standards. We do have people in from the cruises. So definitely this is the little cruise bump. Whenever we have the ships in, the downtown core starts just going bustling. This is uh, West Cordova and Granville Street. We're just gonna wait for the light to change. Oh wow, look at this over here. The pipe's out. The pipes are leaking. <laughs> What are we to do? <laughs> we'll walk around it. Oh wow, look at that. I'll keep walking. Not quite sure what people are going to do. They'll figure this out soon enough. Ah, it looks like there's a handle up there that might have been turned and left open. Who knows? <laughs> looks like the pipe broken too. Who knows? So if we want to go over to the cruise ships. And the one that we just <laughs> saw. If you had some uh, sharp eyes. Don't worry if you missed it. <laughs> we'll hopefully walk past it in a few moments. Walking here. Ah, it looks like you can walk down the, uh, the other side of the street now. You just have a little fence for one part that seems to be drying still. And there is a game on tonight. So we will see lots of people in the area wearing jerseys. People from all over British Columbia and uh, 
come over here to watch the game. I'm sure from elsewhere as well. There's the cruise ship right there in the background. And we'll walk this way first and then cross the street. Looks like the local traffic authority is here. It's good to see. So do a bit of a loop here. Nice police presence is always welcome. They're more concerned with the traffic, but uh, if they do happen to have, some, have something happen in front of them, they're there. Or if they're ordered to go on over, they're there for other issues. Looks like we got several cruise ships there. <laughs> That's interesting. Wow, look at that. We'll get back to that one. We'll head this way first. And up the steps. And I'm over to check the first one out. First one we spotted. <laughs> so I'm wondering if there's three or if there's only two. We'll figure it out as we're going along. Just passing the Pan Pacific Hotel. The yeah, hotel we crossed on the other side, that was the Fairmont Hotel Waterfront. Or Fairmont Waterfront Hotel. Ah, it looks like they got this side fenced off. <laughs> This area closed due to construction. Okay, well, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. I'll head on over to the other side and see uh, the one cruise ship we can see. <laughs> Let's see. Well, the Starbucks is nice and busy today. Just look at that, that's huge. <laughs> oh, there is three. I can see another one back there. Very, very cool. <laughs> cruise ship hunt. We're going on a cruise ship hunt. We just found some big ones. <laughs> I'm right here. I'm right here. Going on a cruise ship hunt. <laughs> here we are. We're just passing the Coal Harbor Cafe. It's open right now. Nice to see. Quite the spectacle for uh, locals when the cruise ships start coming back in in higher frequency. And the first one comes back in, it's like, oh, there's a cruise ship, cool, they're back. Uh, it's not really until they start filling up with this, and some of these people are locals, and some of these people are cruise ship passengers, that you uh, start getting quite the spectacle. It's very cool, very, very cool. It's a 
something definitely impressive to see. <laughs> this whole area turns into a little canyon <laughs> of steel and concrete. And just it totally changes this view because otherwise you're just seeing uh, clouds in the mountains and the waterfront. Which is cool too. <laughs> but uh, not the same thing. Of course, the entrances over here are the entrances for the cruise ships. So the passengers can go on down and board their cruise ships. A series of tunnels underneath us. They get shuffled through. <laughs> Between the ships here, we can see the mountains and part of North Vancouver. So that would be also where the Musqueam Reserve is, or the Squamish Reserve, actually, my mistake. <laughs> Posing for a selfie. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk carefully here. I'm always cautious around people with canes. <laughs> There's a few vloggers out here today. Beyond just me. <laughs> very, very interesting. That's cool. That's very cool. Looks like the Noor Dam. You can see the side of the ship here. You can see the rescue boats that they have. And then if you look down, you can see some of the people dealing with the works and you can see in the stair in the spot down there the stairwell there's people turning around the corner there walking back to their boat Looks like we got the Grand Princess over here. So yeah, we got three boats in today. Wow! <laughs> Busy day. Let's go look over at that Port Authority. Since they're out here. Noisy, noisy area. There goes a helicopter, as you can see in the background there. <laughs> wow. And uh, here is the Port Authority. Point down here, and here's some of the people, employees doing the work down here, moving their carts around, taking the freight, all that type of stuff, loading it up. A lot of the stuff that comes on these ships comes in freights, so they just drop off the freights here. And there's the view, and you can see the Port Authority, that's that orange thing in the background there. Oh, the cranes, and it looks like they're unloading one of the ships right now. So it looks like quite a full ship. Either that, or it's already been packed, and it's ready to go back out and park in English Bay. And the Burrard Inlet. Anyways, folks, thanks for coming along today. And just remember to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later, okay? <laughs> Have a good day.